So yeah, uh, this thing is kind of weird. So you might be wondering what in the world is this thing? And that's my first thought when I saw the box, but it's actually a TV antenna and it works for your smartphone. You put this on your smartphone and you can pick up broadcast TV. Okay, that's a joke. <laughs> it's actually a microphone and I gotta say, it's pretty cool. So we'll get to this in a minute. What comes in the kit? You got your mic and it has a cold shoe built in and it has this little shock mount. So this mounts on your camera and this will work with smartphones or traditional cameras. And then it comes with some cables and the cables are for your smartphone. This is a TRS to TRRS. It conveniently says smartphone on there, which is nice. And then you have one for traditional cameras. And then you have a USB-C cable because you charge this unit and or you can update the firmware with this. And then it also comes with two windscreens or wind muffs. And these fit on the mic capsules. And these are actual mic capsules here. So the cool thing is, while this does look kind of funky, that's for sure, it's actually a stereo microphone. And so if you put it forward like this, it just acts like a traditional shotgun mic. If you open it up, it becomes a stereo mic. You've got a 30 degree position and then a 90 degree position. And then this is cool. You flip it around like this and it's bi-directional. And so that way you can be interviewing someone in front and then you can be behind the camera and it'll pick your voice up as well. This is very reminiscent of the Deity D4 Duo that I reviewed, and that is a great mic, but the problem with that one is the stereo functions don't work with a smartphone. And this one is supposed to. Uh, hold on, unfortunately it doesn't, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But as strange as this thing looks, the functionality of this is pretty impressive and it will work with a variety of devices. All right, I'm rolling with the microphone in the 90 degree stereo position. Stereo only works with traditional cameras, at least that's what I've found so far. Now I'll switch this to the S1, which is the 30 degree. There's little lines on the top here but then you can also, there's, it clicks in the place when you get it there. All right, now I'm recording in stereo, the S1, 30 degrees. Now I'll go into mono mode. You just put those together. And that is M in the mode menu. And last setup here I will try in the same location is the two-way mic. That's mic one, that's mic two. And so now it is doing a bi-directional recording. So the front mic should be getting the sound of the waterfall and now the back mic should be picking up my voice. At least that's the idea. I believe this is a mono mix though. It's not a split track. And so it wouldn't be discreet for editing and post-production later. But it is nice to be able to get both directions. Let's talk about the bi-directional mic and the tinny sound that that made while recording at the pool. Was it operator error? Just a quick test. I am using the bi-directional and I have it now exactly like the image on the back of the panel. And so earlier I did it a different way. I flipped the mics around. And so mic one facing the back and mic two facing the front. And I'm talking on the back right now with mic one. Now spin it around. 
Now I'm talking in the front with mic two. I don't know if this makes a difference or not. In the directions it said to do it this way, but I am not 100% sure. So we'll see if this makes a difference. All right, so it was an operator error. This is a pre-production model. And so my guess is that it is just a defective unit or potentially it needs a firmware update, but it wouldn't make sense to have one mic be bad for lack of a better word and the other might be good because the one is good and it works in stereo. And so it is kind of strange, but my bet is it's because it's a pre-production model. Now I'll quickly just talk about phones again. And the main thing is this mic does not work with phones in stereo mode. I've got it right now in the 90 degree stereo mode. And if you look here closely at the meters, they are popping as a mono mix. They are not stereo. I can go on either side of the mic and I'm not getting a stereo signal. So let's talk about the good and the bad. So the bad first and my dislikes, the obvious one was what we were just talking about and that is the tinny sound using the bi-directional mic. Again, this has to be because it's a pre-production model and so hopefully the production units will not have that or a firmware update could fix it. And one thing related to the bi-directional recording, when you do shoot like that, it's not split track. It's a mono mix. And so you can't have discrete tracks to work with in post-production. Because when you're in post, you wanna have the ability to edit the interviewer or the interviewee separately. The design is definitely bulky and I don't love it. But for what it is, I get it because really it's designed as a stereo mic. And in that sense, it works. But this will be a critique that a lot of people have and many people won't like it. I would say it's a utilitarian design more than a stylish design. The other big thing is that the stereo doesn't work with smartphones. I was really hoping it would because the Deity D4 Duo doesn't either. That may be something that can be added or fixed in the future. But right now with my initial testing, it does not work. All right, now the good. The main thing is this is a stereo mic and that is really pretty cool. If you're a filmmaker and let's say you're recording concerts or you're doing sound design and you're recording ambience or you're doing sound effects and you want stereo for like a movie or something, this is really a pretty good option. I also like that it has a headphone jack. I like that it's USB-C so you can charge it that way. Also do firmware updates. And the battery is solid too. It's rated to last up to five hours. And additionally, it has a dial to adjust the input gain. And this works with traditional cameras and smartphones. So do I recommend it? Well, that's complicated. I would say if you're a traditional filmmaker shooting on traditional gear and you're wanting to record in stereo, then yes, this is a viable option. At the time of this video, this cost $179. If you've ever priced stereo mics, that's a pretty good deal. If you're a smartphone shooter only, then I would make sure that the bi-directional aspect works. And I would also want to make sure or at least see if the stereo feature will work in the future. The stereo works great on traditional cameras, but on smartphones, it does not work right now. So there are some caveats, but I am giving it a soft recommendation again for traditional filmmakers, smartphone people wait maybe a little bit to make sure it's all working right. And if I end up getting a production model and once I hear back from Comica, I'll either do an update video or I'll put something on my website detailing what has been improved or not improved. But I do definitely like what they're trying to do with this all-in-one type mic. Thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.